Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, we are going to discuss one C technical interview question so on relational operators and as well as arithmetic operators. Right. So, here is your code snippet. Here it is in this program, in this C technical question. So, we are using the concept of relational operators and as well as arithmetic operators. And one important point is all the relational operators having equal priority is nothing but the same priority. So, the expression evaluation from left to right and when compare with the relational operators, arithmetic operators having highest priority. So, first arithmetic operators execute and then it will check the, it, the, it checks the relation among a expression. Okay. So, here the so first we are so going to execute this first one. So, d equals to a is greater than c is greater than b. So, here substitute the values d equals to a is greater than what is it a value is 35 is greater than c. So, what is the c value is 25 is greater than b. What is the b value is 15 is 15. So, generally is so according to the maths. So, 35 is greater than 25, 25 is greater than 15. So, means what the condition is true, but here it is uh, in a C programming it is different. So, here we are using two relational operators of course, greater than operator. So, the evaluation executes from left to right. So, first only it will check this much 35 is greater than 25 as the condition is true. So, whenever the condition is true, the relation is true, the relational operator will return the value is 1. So, it will return the value 1. 1 is greater than 15, the condition has failed. So, it returns 0. So, the value 0 will go and store into D. D. So, first it will check this only first half 35 is greater than 25, it gives value 1. It is a true value of course, but the returned value is 1. Whenever 1 we are comparing with the greater than 15 or not means what definitely the condition has failed. In the failed case, it will return the value is 0. So, finally, the 0 value will be substituted in D is the first expression. Now, come to that second expression. So, already d value is calculated, d value is 0. So, now, now substitute the values into this one. C, the C value is 25 minus B, B value is 15 is greater than A. So, A value is 35 is less than or equals to D. So, D value already found that is 0. So, 0 will substitute here. See here two relational operators and one arithmetic operator we are using. So, which one executes first? Arithmetic operator executes first. So, 25 minus 10 executes first. 25 minus 10, the condition 25 minus 10 is a, is a 35. So, C value is a 15, C, A value is 35, 35 and here it is sorry C value is 25 minus b value is a 15. 25 minus 15 will give the value is 10, will give the value 10. Now, 10 is greater than 35. Why it will execute means what? Here remaining two relational operators only. Already arithmetic operator evaluation is over. C minus b will give the value is a 10. Now, here it is a two relational operators are there. So, two relational operators having equal priority. So, left to right evaluation. So, first it will execute 10 is greater than 35. The so, condition has failed. So, result of this one will give that 0 is less than or equals to 0. 0 is less than or equals to 0 condition is true. So, in a true case it will return the value is 1 and a d value already calculated that is 0. So, output of a d and e as a value sir d value is 0 and e value is 1. This is how relational operators execute. So, remember all the relational operators having equal priority. So, evaluation of expression from left to right, right. But when compare with the relational operators, arithmetic operators having highest priority. So, first arithmetic operators executes and then it will check the relation, okay. So, hope you understood. For more videos, please subscribe to Narayshati channel. Thank you.